going on vinyl community welcome to another video with the record spinner in today's video i am going to be doing a record store vlog another one with a familiar face that you may have seen once before this is my dad right here and today we are going to be visiting randy now's man cave in bordentown now if you saw my record store road trip video that i did last summer on my channel which if you haven't be sure to click the icon in the top right hand corner uh this was one of the stores that we uh we being uh, Sam, my girlfriend and I visited, and my dad has been wanting to check out the store for the longest time, and now that is finally happening. But today is a rather special occasion because after 40 plus years, this man has finally retired, and this is basically going to be a retirement sort of, you know, visit, celebration of sorts. He's been wanting to check out the store, like I said, so that day is finally here. And um, let's see what we snag. What are you looking to find today? Whatever. I'm very open-minded today. <laughs> I, I was telling him on the way that this store is basically like a jack-of-all-trades kind of store. So aside from vinyl and CD, there's a little bit of everything. So uh, we shall see what we leave with. And um, without further ado, let's go in, shall we? This thing is to a Rolling Stones fan, like a Beetle Butcher. Okay. And uh, this is not in good shape, but they've sold for as high as $2,800. Okay. Uh, even in the bad condition this is in, um, it's $250, $300. Okay. I have it online for sale. Okay. Um, and I've had people like, you know, can you take pictures of it for me? Yeah. And it seems like everyone has asked me so far for pictures is from England. Really? Yeah, nobody in America. But uh, I never knew about this until just when I found it. <laughs> oh, that's what's the uh, track list? Is it like consisting of a certain uh, show? Is it studio stuff? Let's see. It's a little mix. So it looks like 
it looks like a compilation by the looks of it. Like these slides, maybe? Yeah, I'm noticing like to be included in, in the LP Let It Bleed. Oh, wow, so this was right before Let It Bleed came out. Wow. <laughs> Interesting, breaks down the catalog here. Never have seen this before. Never have been aware of it, too. Yeah. Wow. For you know what's funny? If I, I want to share something, I see this right here. First time I'm seeing this. Yeah. Uh, Knacker Fledge or whatever. Yeah. My friend's a Rolling Stones fan, and his email was like Naker Fledge or something. Uh huh. I never knew what really? it meant. Really? I'm just getting it now. I'm, I'm guessing it's a little nod to that. To the, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a big, you know, Stones fan. Matter of fact, he wants this, but <laughs> he can't afford it. Right now. <laughs> Times are tough everywhere. Uh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it so, is, man. No, yeah, that's that, a cool one. Uh, yeah. You should get some response from that. Oh, for sure. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm sure yeah. some people will go nuts over seeing that you know, one. Here's another pretty rare piece. Show it. What do we got? This is Zappa. And I, I, I don't know the story behind it. It's something about he had to put another record out. And uh, it's, it's like a $200 piece for four records. But everybody sees it thinks it's, oh, it's an Edison record. Yeah. 1903. But it's, it's Frank. Okay. Again, I'm, I know if you look it up, it's going to tell you the story. Interesting. I'm not too huge on Zappa. Like, I'm slowly wor working my way through his catalog. Yeah. But, um, no, that is a cool piece indeed. So that's, awesome. Just a couple pieces we sell. Some of the crown jewels. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's sweet.
right, so we left the man cave and boy, oh boy, did we leave with a lot of stuff. Now, I realized this when we were shopping today. When I went with Sam a year ago for the record store road trip, we had only scratched the surface of the store and we left with quite the assortment of things, vinyl, CD, and other miscellaneous items. So I'm gonna go first and then my dad's gonna go. So in terms of vinyl that I got, I didn't leave with a whole crazy amount. I bought three vinyl products there. Um, I remember seeing this um, the last time that I was there and, and I left with the monkey's head soundtrack, but I saw that this was still there and I think the price went down as well. So it's good to wait around about a year for, uh, for these things. I got headquarters, stack of tracks. Who remembers stack of tracks? Uh, this is basically a collection of various backing tracks and instrumental versions of uh, the monkey's album headquarters, which is my personal favorite album of theirs. So i uh, very happy to get my hands on it. It's features some kind of interesting alternate um, cover artwork and I believe this is also on clear vinyl as well so very happy to have that and then there was this record now I knew that if I didn't leave with this album I would be disappointed and the price tag may seem a little high as you're gonna see but I felt that it was a necessary purchase indeed to have uh, the record I am talking about is that right there this is Paul McCartney's Ram in mono. Now, the mono mix of Ram never got a widespread official release. It was only issued to uh, AM radio stations. And apparently copies are highly sought after, very expensive. It's been bootlegged for a number of years. And to be quite honest, as much as I love the Beatles and you know solo Beatles stuff, I did not know too much about uh, the mono mix of Ram. And Basically, uh, they did a reissue of it right around 2012. This was back when they did the um, the archive collection, when they kind of started all that, and they did the archive box set of RAM, and they did this mono vinyl pressing, and it says that it's limited and numbered. Um, the number does not appear on the sleeve, perhaps inside, but um, I had never seen anything like this before, and uh, I simply could not leave without it. So I was very happy to leave with this. And then, while looking in their 7-inch uh, section, I came across this, and I was aware of this for a while. This is uh, ACDC, uh, Shoot to Thrill and War Machine, live at River Plate. Um, this came out for Record Store Day back in 2011, and uh, features two tracks live at River Plate from, I want to say, 2008, 2009. Um, this was back when they had uh, were just about to uh, release the show on DVD and Blu-ray, so I have this pretty cool 7-inch. And that is basically it for vinyl stuff, but we also got a bunch of other things as well. Uh, there was also various um, magazines there. There was like a cool retro magazine section. And my family and I, uh, we are avid readers of Prague and Classic Rock Magazine. They're only mainly available uh, overseas in England and Europe, and you can only get them from select retailers here in the States. But uh, literally, we got all these issues for 49 cents. That's right, 49 cents an issue. So right off the bat, we have Led Zeppelin, we have Deep Purple, we got Rush. This is a cool one for Prog Magazine. This is uh, Chris Squire and Steve Hackett. This was back when they did the uh, Squacket album. And then we got Mr. Mojo Rising with The Doors. Greatest frontman of all time, no dispute in it. <laughs> um, let's see. Another Rush, and guess what else? We have another Rush. So we got tons and tons of reading to do. I mean, I mean, I guess you could say that these are all out of date because they're from years and years ago, but they're still fun to collect. Uh, also left with a postcard of Pink Floyd. Uh, this is a picture of them in uh, Kew Gardens in 1969. You've seen this in the early years box sets. And then, this was also a freebie, uh, this little hidden gems of Bordentown map. So you can go around the town and check out the notable sites and attractions in the area, which today we only just did the man cave and then the pub across the street. So perhaps this will be a whole different day. Um, came across some record shop posters and these were really cool to find out. I'm aware of, you know, the indie record stores getting cool posters and such, but these were for sale and these are really, really awesome. So right off the bat, we have one for the Metallica Master of Puppets remaster. Get it? Obey your master, obey your remaster. 
makes, mm -hmm. makes sense. And then here's the back side of that, which features the rest of the catalog. And then of course the Floyd fan in me went nuts when I saw this. Here's a shop poster for the Endless River, which is pretty cool. And now we have the final two pieces. Now these are really, really awesome. They're very delicate. Um, they're printed on newspaper, like type of paper. Um, I think it's to kind of fit with the punk aesthetic, I guess you could say. And as you saw in the video, perhaps you might guess what these are. These are print ads for the 40th anniversary Ramones box set. This is when they did that CD and vinyl 40th anniversary set. There was that one, and then there's also this one. It just kind of has like a cool old school aesthetic to it with it being printed on this kind of paper stock, mm -hmm. but um, could not pass these up, so I was very happy to get these. And also I do want to mention too, uh, Randy was very, very gracious enough to give us 10% uh, off of our entire order. So uh, very, very, um, Lots of thanks to uh, to Randy. Uh, while it is not the biggest store, it is the coolest. And the man himself said that. Now, that is what I got. This one here got more than me. <laughs> he really stocked up. So I think you've heard enough of me blabbing. What did you get, Dad? Okay. Um... <laughs> as, oh, CDs. As uh, you can tell, he's a CD go type. Through, go through these real quick. Price anywhere from 99 cents to 2.99. Uh, part Little Queen, classic, very classic. Yes, John Lennon acoustic. It looked interesting. Working class hero, uh, cold turkey. It's just interesting. So yep. I picked that up for $1.99. Sting, Dream of the Blue Turtles. Black Sabbath. That's the that's the Nativity in Black tribute album. This is really, really good. Yes. Even Ozzy even plays on it. He thought it was so good. <laughs> Megadeth, White Zombie, Biohazard. Type of negatives on here. Sepultura. Bruce Dickinson. He sings Bruce Sabbath, Dickinson, Bloody Sabbath. Ugly Kid Joe, Faith No More. Type that's of solid. negative. Very solid. Cool. New York Dolls compilation of their like, first couple albums. Uh, doesn't have a back, but for 99 cents, what the hell? <laughs> okay. Uh, Wallflowers, you know, Wallflowers, funded by Jacob Dylan. Excellent album. And here's a cool one. And this is a cool one. I didn't notice until after I bought it. Steve Walsh, Schemer Dreamer, solo album. And this is a Japanese pressing. You can see on the spine. It does not come with the OV, but you can see it on the spine. Yes. Very cool. A couple of Steve Howe CDs. Steve Howe Spectrum and Steve Howe Pulling Strings. I don't know if you can tell, but we're not big like Steve Howe yeah, fans. We're not, we're, you know, we don't listen to nah, that much. No, no, not at all. <laughs> and it's just a Compilation from 1966. Okay, yeah, I'm that old. Okay, um, but it had a good set list to it. Eight Miles High by the Birds, California Dreamin', Mamas and Papas, Walk Away When They, Mellow Yellow, Hanky Panky, Tommy James. Um, let's see what else. Monkeys are on here. Yeah, monkeys Beach are on Boys. here. It's a solid compilation. Those Barbos Back in Black. Black is. Black is black. Black, black, black is, is black. black. Yeah. Okay. We know where ACDC got the inspiration from. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So that was a cool CD. Okay. And then, then we have a bag of stuff. This is awesome. The Return of the Matacore. ELP box set. This excellent. I, I have to say, to, not to interrupt that, out of the many ELP anthologies and compilations that are out, considering how often their catalog gets reissued and remastered, this is probably the best one. The track list is perfect. You get all the hits, all the classic stuff off of every album, along with some new recordings. I don't know if you noticed these. Yes. Yeah, the, um, they did a recording of Touch and Go, which is from the Emerson Lincoln Powell album, Hang On to a Dream, which was by The Nice. Schizoid Man, of course, Crimson Fire, Crazy World of Arthur Brown. But these are new recordings too. Yes. So they're not like just the re you know remastered. They did some new uh, recordings for it. Yes. So this is excellent. Comes with a book, excellent book to it. 
and this is the the one non-music related uh find non-music related well music related but not like a bon like not cd or vinyl yeah Papa, Amorous, pretty cool. Little ghost figure. We, my dad and I collect these. <laughs> and that's it. Awesome. So, there you guys go. That is my record store vlog with my dad shopping at Randy Now's Man Cave. If you enjoyed this video, please go ahead, give it a like, subscribe to the channel. And if you want to support this channel, be sure to check me out on Patreon. See you guys in the next video. And most importantly, Keep the record spinning. That's right, guys.